Baldur's Gate 3. Arguably the best game to have dropped in 2023 and has won Game of the Year for 2023. Welcome back to the Sail Roses channel guys and as you might have guessed we're going to be diving into Baldur's Gate 3. The turn-based game that has hit the gaming community by storm. But did the game really live up to the hype? Well, I've only gotten up to two and a half hours of gameplay and I can already say that this game is not only the best game I've played all of 2023, but it is also a game that has piqued my interest because it is a turn-based style game. I've always been more interested in the first person slash third person kind of RPGs like The Witcher 3, Skyrim, Fallout, Far Cry, and so on. But Baldur's Gate 3 had so much news and hype surrounding it that I had to give it a try. And by God, I am so happy that I did. I am thoroughly enjoying the game. The storyline is very intriguing. The character customization as far as building a class and getting proficiencies and skills and spells and things of that nature is fantastic. It's it's very it's very diverse. You can really build any kind of character that that you want. Your party and the companions that you pick up throughout the game and the relationships that you can build with each one of them is very intriguing. Their backstories, learning more about them, seeing how far you can go with them relationship-wise as a friend, companion, romanceable, whatever. Every companion is romanceable, which is a huge plus for me. The the choices that you make is definitely prevalent. It's it's every, almost every dialogue option I have ran into has abilities come into play. You have to roll a dice to see if you are successful in a persuasion and intimidation. Maybe there's some sort of history or, or backstory that your character has that you can use in each conversation. And things that you say actually matter. I was playing not too long ago and I I made a dialogue option that ended with one of my party members killing my character and my character was dead. There was no way to bring him back until later on in the game. So I had to restart. It was something I was not used to because most RPGs, no matter what you do, especially dialogue wise, they're not gonna kill you because if you die, the game's over. So that's not really an option. But in this one, your character can die and will remain dead unless you have certain things to bring them back. So just be aware of that. Now, with all this being said, there was only one issue that I had and that was because it was a new style of game being turn-based combat and also because how in-depth this game goes with class building and picking your spells and picking your, your proficiencies, like what your character is good at, I felt very lost and confused for the first hour that I was playing the game. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I ended up having to watch about an hour to two hours of YouTube reviews and tutorials to fully grasp and understand all of the mechanics that Baldur's Gate 3 has to offer. If that's something that you might not be interested in, this game may not be for you, especially if you're not a turn-based player. If you're not used to that kind of gameplay at all, it's never interested you and you don't want to spend time watching videos to learn how these mechanics work, this game might not be for you. But anyone looking for a great turn-based game, is a fan of D&D, is a fan of just the RPG genre of gaming, even if you liked Skyrim and Fallout and Far Cry and all of those RPG games, if you're looking for a fantastic RPG game with storyline, character building, character customization, all of that, then I highly recommend Baldur's Gate 3. Just beware of the learning curve and the extra research you might have to do outside of the game. But as always, I'm mostly curious about what you guys think about Baldur's Gate 3. If you've played it, have you enjoyed it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please subscribe and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.